Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' with Scraggin' It's Dee, about to react to this vid by Cameron. And it's titled, TikTok Live Beggars Are Getting Out of Hand. I remember seeing someone mention this, but I've never seen anybody begging on, on TikTok. Granted, I'm not on there long at all, whatsoever. But, yeah, I guess this is a thing where people just get on there and ask for money? I, I don't know, but it's a trend apparently. Let's see what's happening. Let's watch. What are Moomoo's? Moomoo's are one. Every time you guys join the live and send a galaxy, the Moomoo's have to come out. So just join the live, send a galaxy, and watch the Moomoo's. TikTok Live has got to be one of the most interesting platforms on the internet. I feel like most live streaming platforms have some sort of theme to them. Like on Twitch, you're most likely going to see somebody reacting, gaming, or just chilling with the homies. But on TikTok Live, you never really know what you're going to get. You could just be scrolling, and then something like this will just pop up out of nowhere. Oh, I see these people. They ask for money? I see these people randomly it's this one guy that keeps popping up and he's like he's out in the woods like this too at night with a ring light and i'm like what the fuck is the people doing but i just keep scrolling like why are these people sleeping in the middle of the forest doing the chicken dance like it makes no sense at all but hey that's just tiktok live i remember there was this one time i was scrolling on they tiktok and there was this live that popped up of this woman reading but while she was reading she was doing a lot of movement forward making it seem like she was getting the back shots of doom like i said you never know what you're gonna get i'm pretty sure we all remember that there's NPC no way she was literally just like last going year like where that. everyone was acting like she was NPC rocking bringing in straight racks like dog pinky doll was making two to three thousand dollars per live for saying gang gang ice cream so good and yes 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 while popping popcorn with a hair iron if we all had the opportunity to do that i'm pretty sure we all would no, two to three k no. is some people's monthly salary but the fact that she made that in only a few hours by just doing that i'm not gonna lie sign me up asap no because people with any type of platform and any type of following if they would do that then they would <laughs> if they were okay with doing that they would like, it would be nothing to be like, hey, y'all, come to my TikTok. I already got this following on YouTube. I already got this following on Instagram. Come to my TikTok. So, to say that anybody would do that, that is capped to the highest degree. Not everybody is willing to sell their souls <laughs> and look this ridiculous and tap dance for people on the internet. That is embarrassing. I, I would never. <laughs> so, yeah, that's so inaccurate to say that everybody would do that. If you would, that's sad, my brother. But you, but I yeah, mean, there's, there's still time. You can do it. Tell your followers on YouTube to go follow me on there and dance and pop popcorn or whatever. Sleep in the forest. Wave is when people do. realize that TikTok Live can be pretty lucrative. And ever since then, now TikTok is just one huge begging competition. Like, mm. people saw the racks that Pinky Doll was bringing in. And now people think that they can just hop on live and just sit there and beg all day. It's actually crazy. Can I get 250 more? Can y'all help me out and send me 250 more dollars, please? <laughs> Like, I feel like Twitch streamers get a lot of hate for being e-beggars. When they actually provide content, these TikTok streamers are terrible. Because a lot of these TikTok streamers, all they do is just sit there and beg all day. That's literally their content. There's so many beggars on that app that you could literally categorize them. The first kind are the hype beggars, where pretty much what they do, they just scream at the screen, begging for donations. <laughs> popular hype beggars would be Jason That's Nash. Insane. He used to be in David Dobrik's video. Oh, he begging? He used to even oh, have a podcast with David great. Dobrik that ended about two years ago. And now this man is pretty much just a full-time beggar on TikTok. Hey! This man is 51 years old doing this. <laughs> yes, a 51 year old begging on TikTok. It is crazy. But yeah, that's like one variant of beggar on TikTok. The hype beggar, right? Another type of beggar on TikTok is the dry beggar. And pretty much what they the do- The hype beggar, that sounds so exhausting. They literally just sit and just try to guilt trip you into donating to them. They'll say what? things like, huh, I didn't eat today, or oh man, rent is coming up and I don't have the funds. Hopefully someone sends me a galaxy. And it's not even in an ironic way. It's like these people are being dead serious when they say this. It's 20 hours for me. 
in the Wi Fi bill 44. But y'all gotta think about it. This is how I make my money on this app. Like, for real. Is y'all gonna help me or not? Because I'm not even, I'm, I'm just trying to get to my interview. That's the main thing I'm trying to get somebody to. Somebody said that. Somebody would like to help me get to my interview tomorrow. I would appreciate it if someone would. And plus, I, this is not begging. I didn't say please in my sentence. Girl. Y'all not even my supporters anyway, so I don't know why I'm even asking y'all. What's crazy is this woman was actually a huge meme years ago. She was That's dancing her? at the Apple store. That video went viral, and now she is a full-time beggar on TikTok. And it's not like this We're woman just hops on TikTok begging every around. once in a while. No. Begging is like this woman's full-time job. She's one of TikTok's most notorious dry beggars. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. I, 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 need, I need to fold it. I need to fold it. I need to fold it. Hurry up. And the craziest thing Why about these beggars up? on TikTok is that if you don't send them money, they start to get mad. Now you shut your chat good for Oh, shut sure. That's your mother problem. Y'all need to shut the up and mind your mother business. Y'all always think for fucking funny because it ain't happened to your stupid fucking ugly fucking funky stupid punk ass. Shut She's meant to be. Come through this much screen and slice and dice your stupid punk ass. Shut up, bitch. How are you going to get I'm mad at me for not me. donating to you? These dry beggars are the now definition the of entitled because what makes them think that they are so Because who would do that in the Apple store? <laughs> Granted, she was obviously really young in that clip, but still, it's just, it just was like, you, you knew something was off. And now it's confirmed. Deserving of someone else's dollars for sitting on TikTok live all day, looking like a bum, begging for coins. If you yeah, don't get up and get a up. job, if there is one thing that TikTok has showed me, it's that someone could literally be on the verge of eviction. I'm talking the landlord is at their doorstep, knocking on their door, telling them to get out. And instead of getting up and getting a job like any other human being would do, they're just going to sit on TikTok and beg for gifts all day. It's actually insane. You could spend that eight hours that you spend begging for gifts, looking for for a stable job but you want to sit over here video. begging on tiktok and get make mad. some actual tiktoks and like try to go viral on there or make some youtube videos if you want to go this this route of being a creator then just do that when somebody doesn't want to donate to you it makes no sense, sense at all what pissed me off even more is that there's literally no content provided with these like begging lives on tiktok when you look at pinky doll or npc miles they are actually entertaining an audience like oh. even though you have to donate to be entertained at least you're getting some form of entertainment through that donation even though some people might think what they do is stupid at the end of the day they are entertaining a crowd okay. that is why they're bringing in so much money but when it comes to these grown adults sitting on live all day begging their life away with puppy dog guys there is zero entertainment provided you can't bring in money by just sitting there and begging all day you got to provide some sort of entertainment for the audience speaking of entertaining the audience there's also this other form of begging on tiktok that i like to call torture begging essentially what pinky doll and npc miles are doing but on a more extreme level for example there is a stream where basically this guy would cut off his dreads for every galaxy he gets and for y'all that don't know galaxies are worth about ten dollars okay. another an example of this would be this stream where this guy would eat a raw egg for every galaxy he gets. I don't want to see this. Oh no, my brother. There's a better way. Ew! And another example would be this one where this guy eats a worm for every galaxy he gets. <laughs> I have eaten some moving things. <laughs> if you subscribe to my, my second channel, you know, you're on, over on Chanel TV. You've seen me eat some weird things. But this, <laughs> this, this is another level. To be honest, though, I mean, I ain't gonna do it for money, like, <laughs> while I'm begging on TikTok Live. But listen, I will pretty much eat anything. Okay, pause. I will, I try some weird things. So I'm not even gonna talk too much shit about this. I don't think I would do this. And did you just pick that up off the ground? See, no, that's, that's, no. I wouldn't do that. Yeah, no, that's disgusting. I'm not doing that. So, uh, Basically, these dudes are torturing themselves for the bread. Like, the only one I can really understand is the guy who's cutting his dreads because maybe he wanted to cut his dreads for anyway, a while, yeah. but he never really had any reasoning. And now TikTok gave him reasoning because he's getting paid to cut his dreads. Like, I can understand that, and I can respect it. But these other ones where these dudes are eating worms and eating yeah, raw eggs for $10, I'm not gonna lie. For me to put a worm in my body, I'm gonna need at least a band. I'm not gonna 
to sit here and eat a worm for ten dollars. That is crazy. At least they are providing entertainment. Well, I a worm this is high tier now? begging. You know, this mm -hmm. isn't like the low tier beggars that just sit and cry all day. This is high tier. Awesome. I'd rather have a dude eat an egg for a donation than to just donate, and that donation doesn't really do anything. You know, another type of beggar on TikTok are these. I'm gonna just say thought beggars. They're basically the same thing as like torture beggars, except for it's more sexual. And usually before they go live, they'll always post like a TikTok saying what they're gonna do to funnel people to the live. I'm live on TikTok right now. Every time someone sends a quirky, I have to do a 360. And every time someone sends a galaxy, I have to do jumping jacks during the live. And when I tell you, the comments always kill me on these. Why are you oiled up? Are the bills really that bad? Bop. One of the more popular dot beggars is this girl named Autumn Rain, and pretty much what she does is this. Yes, I am on live right now, shaking my moos for every single time that we get a Galaxy Kids on live. So join the live and just watch me shake not the moos. Yeah, you heard that correctly. For every Galaxy, she's gonna shake the moos. Now, I know what we're all thinking. Like, is this true or is this clickbait? Like, does she actually shake the moos if you donate a Galaxy? The answer is yes. <laughs> It's crazy how her boyfriend is just sitting down That's there her like, boyfriend. yeah, shake those moo-moos for the audience, yeah. I want to say I feel bad, but like, right. at the same time, I know bro is getting a cut of this, so. What reason is there to be sad when you're getting a cut of your girl shaking her yitties online, you know? What's funny though is that sometimes these stop beggars, they don't even beg for donations, they'll just beg for viewers. Stop right there. Don't That's join the live. Right. Every time someone joins, I have to stand up and show my level 10 gazangas and i don't want to do that what are these so words don't join the line <laughs> mumus gazangas i've never heard anybody use these words to describe their boobs really nigga i was promised gazangas if i joined the stream i joined the stream and there's no gazangas where are the gazangas not that i want to see them but for a friend, I just need to like do this research. Like, where are the gazangas? Another kind of live that's pretty popular on TikTok as of lately is this kind of live where this dude acts like XXX Tentacion. Bro blowing bubbles on it at this point. This shit just sad. This has to be studied. X don't know, bro. Look, I know that the job market is tough right now. Trust me, I know. But when I say this, please listen. McDonald's and Amazon are always hiring. Fill out an application ASAP, bro. You as a grown man are sitting there in your room acting like a deceased rapper for viewership on TikTok Live. That is the definition of dick riding. I am sorry. This isn't even dick riding anymore. At this point, this man is just living on his dick. Like, this man has a house with a moat and three boats on his dick. This man has the X tats, X voice, X hair, and even the X stutters down to a T. All I listen to is X ski and all. Oh yeah, that's a, that's another person I forgot to miss. I listen to ski a lot too. That's, that's, that, that, if you guys know my two this best, so two, two favorite artists, X He's ski. Slow. I still listen to like Tupac. I still listen to like Michael Jackson. I still listen to all. Oh. You sound like, like bro, you have zip a up his pants head. when you're done sucking the soul out of that man. If X was alive right now, that man would bust from the amount that you are right. gawking this dude. Thanks. Pause. And if you thought that all of that was crazy, he even has the choker that X used to rock on stage during his performances. Like this is Hall of Fame dick riding. You are not X, and you will never be X. Be yourself. Look, I know X was a huge inspiration to a lot of people in this world, but just because you're inspired by that man, that doesn't give you the right to copy his looks and mannerisms down to a T and profit off of it on TikTok Live. That is weird. But yeah, that's pretty much the weird world of TikTok Live. This was hard to watch, okay? There's a better way, all right? <laughs> people, everyday people have been going very viral recently. The YouTube and TikTok algorithm has really been hidden for some people. I have a friend who went really viral on TikTok and now she has her own business. She's selling shit. So you can do something productive, okay? There, There is hope for you to do something with dignity. This is sad and pathetic and embarrassing. You could be putting that energy into doing something more respectable if you want to be on this online space. Because he's mentioned Amazon and McDonald's. I get it. Not everybody want to do that. And that, that's understandable. That's fine. If you want to go the non-traditional route, you can 
just do something smarter. <laughs> this is very, very stupid. Y'all let me know what y'all think, though. Let me know what other videos you're going to watch, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!